Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at Reddit challenge number 352 and it's about making imager style links. So let's jump straight into it. All right. So you can see on here that essentially what we want to do is convert this base 10 input to this base 62 output and this is our alphabet to help us do that so i've pre-written some tests already and essentially all the tests are are these inputs and those outputs all right so you can see here that the main function is going to be the two base 62 function so let's start by writing that one so function to base 62 and that's going to take in a mutable number and it's going to be of a u size and then it's going to return a string of course like so well why why is this number mutable well the reason for that is because the way we're going to approach this is by having our alphabet and then we want to take the module of this number right here module 62 because it's base 62 and then we want to divide this number by 62 and we want to do this while the number is more than zero and so for that reason we're going to change this number and that that's why it needs to be mutable all right so let's start by copying the alphabet so we're going to declare a static alphabet 62 and hopefully you guys know that constants should always be in capital letters and that's going to be of a let's see u8 and it's going to be the size 62 and you don't need to declare the size of 62 but i think it it makes it look a little bit more clear all right so then we're going to just do this so copy the alphabet like so and then remove the space at the end all right so let's start writing this function well the first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare a new variable and that's essentially going to be the string that we're going to return because we want to gradually take like i said we want to do a while loop while the number is more than zero so we're going to append one character at a time so let's declare that variable now all right let the results it's going to be equal to a string new like so and then while number is more than zero what we want to do here is we want to results dot push and we want to push the alphabet 62 and the index is going to be number modulo 62 like so and then this is all u8 so we want to cast that as a char instead like so all right and then we want to do number equals number divided by 62. That looks pretty good. And this is telling us that we have an error in our code. And the error is that we haven't returned a string yet. So let's just at the end return results like so. That looks pretty good. So let's try running our tests. So cargo test and we have a an error right here and the error is due to the fact that we forgot to make results mutable so save that and try again and now the tests are running just fine all right so now we're going to do the we're going to focus on the main function and what do we want to do in the main function well we want to take in some input and then use this function to convert it to base 62 so let's declare a new mutable variable and it's going to be a new string. And then we just want to use the standard in function to read line into the variable. And of course we need to expect it to fail to read line like so. And let's save that. That looks a bit prettier. Now let's trim this and convert it to a number instead, instead of a string. So 
we're going to use the match this time because if we enter symbols we don't want it to panic we want to give it a pretty message instead so match input dot trim dot parse and if this is okay we're going to use the number and then we are going to print line to base 62 of the number like so and if we get an error we don't care about what the error is because we know that it's related to the fact that there are symbols then we're just going to print out a nice statement like input formatted incorrectly please enter a positive number and like so and then we need to enter a semicolon at the end of the match all right so let's try running that cargo run and that's let's try entering this number and that should give us this output all right and let's try entering some Thing random like that and as you can see input formatted incorrectly please enter a positive number so let's try a negative number and as you can see this works perfectly all right so that's it for this episode and good luck and happy coding